Hello there, this is Zach with the Dynamic Music Room, and today we are going to talk about Let Us Chase the Squirrel with some games and an analysis of the song. So, um, if you like learning about songs and checking out some games and helpful music teaching resources, and you nerd out on stuff like analyzing songs, well then, you got to subscribe to this YouTube channel where we drop videos uh, at least once a week, probably uh, twice a week or something like that. So make sure you subscribe. That way you don't miss out from any of our stuff. So here is Let Us Chase the Squirrel. I love this song and game. I usually use it in second grade, but let's let's talk about why. So first, here's the song. Let us chase the squirrel up the hickory, down the hickory. Let us chase the squirrel up the hickory tree. Pretty simple song, but it has some fun stuff that goes with it. So number one thing you can do with this to challenge it with your kids is to change the type of tree that is in the song. So instead of hickory or hickory, which is, you know, that the shortened one over here, we can say apple tree. So instead of hickory tree, we say apple tree. Let us chase the squirrel up the apple, down the apple. Let us chase the squirrel up the apple tree. Now, it's, I mean, it's pretty simple, but getting kids to give you different types of trees, man, you could, you could do this song a few times if you wanted to practice it to get it in the kids' heads. So definitely try that one. And some of them come up with some pretty creative ideas. It's pretty cool what they come up with. <clears throat> so, all right, let's see. What else could we do? Yes. I also know that there's a chase game that goes with this song, and this is how I play the chase game. So, um, what chases a squirrel? And I ask my kids this. What chases a squirrel? A dog. Dogs chase squirrels. So, I have the kids stand in a circle, and one kid is the dog. They are inside the circle or fence, and one kid is outside the circle. They are the squirrel. And during the song... The dog has to try to tag the squirrel. The kids have their arms up or down in the circle. There's different ways you can do it. I usually have them with arms down to start. And the squirrel has to run in and out of the fence or the other kids while the dog chases them. And if the dog tags the squirrel, then they just switch jobs and they keep chasing each other till the end of the song. You get nothing if you win. It's just about playing. And then... The dog tags someone and the squirrel tags someone. They switch spots and we keep playing until everybody gets a chance. To make it a little more challenging, this is another way that some people play it. Everyone starts with their hands down, but then when the dog or squirrel passes through their gap, those people put their arms up so the gap is closed. That way the dog can't chase them directly through that same spot. Now, it's important when playing this game that you set up, you know, some safety rules and procedures. Like, we're not we're not going gung-ho. We're not trying to crash into each other and stuff like that. But, you know, with a, with a little bit of work, this one is fun. And my kids love playing this game. And I've done this exact song at Observations before. And the, my principals, my admin, they just they love seeing how fun it is and then how we can turn the concepts into learning. Although one quick funny story, one time we were playing this game and I had a poor little girl. Oh, no, get out of here thing. My computer does that sometimes. We had this poor little girl who was the squirrel and she was running so hard to get away from the dog and she tripped and she fell and skinned her knee and there was blood everywhere. And I was like, oh, my gosh, well, there goes my job. But, you know, uh, obviously we all know stuff like that happens. So. Um, it was it was just it was just a thing. So those are those are two games you can play with. Let us chase the let us chase the squirrel. Now let's talk about like the concepts and why I picked it for second grade. So oh by the way, this is I put this notation up here on flat io flat io, and I will share this exact score with you in the description so you can check it out. Flat io is an awesome browser based notation thing um, program. I, they, I'm not an affiliate for them. They don't have an affiliate program. They do have paid option, which I, you know, I, I have because it's so cool. And it's so easy to share. It even integrates with Google Classroom. Not sponsored, not sponsored at all. Uh, but, you know, if they wanted to sponsor me, I'd totally be on board with that. That's how much I love these guys. Plus, I wrote an article for them. It's pretty cool. I'll share that in the description, too. Anyway, so for concepts, so let's look at rhythm concepts first. We have... Some paired eighth notes, we have quarter notes, and a half note. 
You could do this as a quarter note, quarter rest, but you know what? I, don't, I think it, it fits better up the hickory tree, stretched out for the ending like that, rather than up the hickory tree. So I, I keep this as half note. Now, rhythm alone, if I, if I use it with half note, this would be like perfect beginning second grade, or depending on your sequence, maybe later second grade, to get that half note in there. And this is the perfect place for it. So here we have one, one vote for second grade. One vote for second grade. The song's pretty simple. All right, so now let's look at the notes. Now I put it in the key of D. I actually suggest putting it in the key of F when you sing it. But I'm lazy when I sing by myself. So I usually put things in the key of D. It fits my baritone voice a little bit easier. But for the kids, the key of F or the key of G would be awesome for their ranges. So that'd be like, oh, yeah. So, you know, we just switch it up to G and stuff. That would be perfect for them. But I'm going to keep it in D because I'm lazy. Haha, <laughs> for me. So we have, based on Do, 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 Re, Re, Mi, Sol. Do, Do, Re, Re, Mi, Mi, Re, Re. Do, Do, Re, Re, Mi, Sol. Do, Do, Re, Re, Do. Ah, oh, I have tons of Do, Re, Mi and a Sol in there. So you know what? If you are following the quote-unquote traditional Kodai melodic learning sequence, you start with Sol, Mi, and then you add La, and then you go to Do and Re. In second grade, you add Do and Re, and you know what? Here we have some Do and Re, perfect for second grade again. If you are not a traditional quote-unquote Kodai sequence follower, but instead you prefer to follow someone who starts on Mi, Re, Do, which is fine too, Lots of strong arguments for that. This would fit perfectly because after Mi, Re, Do, what do you add? Soul. And this song has these isolated souls right up here. Oh, it's so perfect. I love it. You even get a little bit of, you get a lot, a lot of motion there. So, you know, a lot of isolated ideas, especially around half note. And then either Do and Re or Soul. So it just keeps adding up for the perfect second grade song. I call this one of my one of my money songs. I love this one. Um, because I can get a lot, a lot of mileage out of a song like this. Now let's look at the meter. We've got four meter. And as we all as we all know, we should, not should, but we want to give a little bit. Where'd my face go? Get out of there, face. There we go, articulation. We want to give a little bit of emphasis on the first beat of every measure. So if we are in, haha, we are in 4-4, four, four, we put a little bit of accent on these. So now it becomes, let us chase the squirrel up the hickory, down the hickory, let us chase the squirrel up the hickory tree. Oh my gosh, kids could learn about 4-4, four, four, or if you wanted to change it, you could change it to 2-4, and it would work the same, or you know what, better yet, Oh, it cut it in half for me. Interesting. Better yet, ask the kids what they prefer. Do they think it's better as, let us chase the squirrel up the hickory, down the hickory in four? Or is it better as, let us chase the squirrel up the hickory, down the hickory? I mean, obviously, I think I think personally the answer is, is four meter, but, you know, that's just up to me. But so we've got, now we've got two and four meter exploration, whether you started that in first grade or you're learning that in second grade. Holy cow, this is, this is awesome. And, you know, you can add some instrumentation to it. You could add some ostinati. This would be awesome. You could add a rhythmic ostinati where you just go up the hickory tree, up the hickory tree over and over again while other people sing on top. You can have some like bass bordoons. You could go do, so, la, so, do, so, la, so, let us chase the squirrel. Obviously playing better than I'm singing, but there are a bazillion things you could do with this song. And that's why I wanted to point it out for you today. Let us chase the squirrel. I did. This is a money song for me. Money song for me. So many things to do. So many things to practice. You could even try it in canon where you have, let me grab these guys here. I'm going to start over here. You, you could have entrances every two beats and that kind of thing. Oh my gosh, this would be like, this would be a crazy kind of canon um, or a round or something like that. So, you know, check it out. 
explore. These are the kind of things I think about when I think of songs. What do you think about when you're looking at a new song like this? These are the, the analysis I do and that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, two quick review. We have this song. We have the chasing game that I described earlier. We have the tree chasing game. We looked at the song. We saw that it has some great rhythm with isolated half note. It has some great solfege, do, re, mi, and sol. So we either we have the isolated sol, if that's our new note, or if we're adding in do and re, we have tons of do, re, mi patterns in here to practice with. Four and two meter. Oh my gosh. And we can add some ostinati, some layers in here. It's just, you know, this song. I could I could go with this song for days. In fact, I love this song so much. I did put it in my new ebook that should be out by now. It's called like Survival Pack, Nine Weeks of Music Lessons for Online Teaching or something like that. I forget exactly what it's called and I wrote the thing. And you know, that has nine weeks of music lessons and 18 songs, 36 activities, all kinds of good stuff, including Let Us Chase the Squirrel. So I'll put that uh, a link in the description for that as well. Now, if you, if you liked going through a song like this, you know, subscribe to the channel, maybe give a comment or a like, share it. And if you, if you like me going through individual songs like this and kind of talking through some things to try, well, then, you know, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I, I might go with a mix of song analysis and uh, other helpful resources. So until next time, my friends, keep on singing.